Hello friend, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will quickly explain all the tools offered by SelectorSub, a quick guide one by one. So first of all, SelectorSub. SelectorSub is the next gen XPath and Selectors tool, which helps you guys to learn about XPath and Selectors, CSS Selectors and all types of Selectors. It supports Shadow DOM, iFrame, Nested Shadow DOM, Nested iFrame, SVG elements, all kinds of web elements. And it has a many many features which helps you guys to learn each and everything about DOM, XPath, selectors, etc. The smart editor feature and XPath and error handling feature really helps a lot to learn all the things about selectors and XPath. What you have to do, you just have to click here add to Chrome. And uh, if you have already installed, that's great. If you haven't installed, then you can install just by clicking here on this button. We, I have already installed. And after installing it, you just have to restart the browser once and you it will be working fine. And it has many features apart from this like very simple one. It also helps you to inspect dynamic uh, drop down elements, invisible element with the help of debugger features. And there are many more features. If you want to learn more about it, you can check out here and also check out the detailed tutorial about selectors up here. After installing, you restart the browser and just click on uh, here. You will find the selector sub logo. By default, after installation, you might not find the selector sub logo here on top. So you have to click on this extension logo here and then you can pin it to toolbar and you will find it here. So when you will click here, you will see the selector sub here. Just inspect with the help of selector sub inspector, you inspect any element and you will see that it will automatically generate all types of XPath and selectors here. And uh, like when you will hover on any element, it will tell that elements properties and everything about that and you will be having the access of uh, all the pages just by opening selectors of once here like if you go to this page or this page or any other page like if you open then you need not to open selectors of again and again this is the beauty of this you can quickly just hover on any element and inspect it and it will give you the selectors if any element will be inside shadow dom iframe everything it will tell you and gives the script as well here debugger features attribute filter like if you want to generate xpath or selectors with any particular attribute or any uh, attribute like id css class etc that you can do it automatically here you can also generate the pseudo code you can generate the locator page you can also uh, verify multiple xpath with the help of xpath healing feature here you have the debugger feature to inspect dynamic uh, invisible elements you can generate xpath with double quotes you can customize the ui whatever elements you want to see or what don't want to see so there are many many features are there you can also generate xpath with respect to other element using this access xpath feature uh, feature here you first inspect the element for which uh, with respect to which you want to generate and then inspect the element with for which you want to generate and you can generate the xpath with respect to other element like uh, the syntax like following uh, siblings etc so there are many many features you can also open selector sub here in dev tools right click click on inspect and here you can find the selector sub by default it will come as a last tab here but you can drag and drop selector sub here anywhere so by default i have dragged and drop here so yeah you can find it here so if you have faced any challenges always recommend the detailed tutorial here on selector sub website also on selector sub youtube channel you can check out so that you will be able to learn everything about it the next tool in our pipeline is test case studio test case studio is the next gen recorder plugin which helps you to record each and every action into plain english sentence in fact like any language you can record like uh, german french or whatever whatever local language hindi kannada anything you wanted to record you can record in that language it used to automatically record steps data, XPath, CSS selector, screenshot and the browser information, system information, everything which you need to like uh, for the documentation or bug filing or as a manual test case, everything you can do. What you have to do, just you have to click on add to Chrome here or any browser, whichever browser you wanted to use, you can install it. And then uh, after installation, restart the browser again and then you can open it. You will see that it will open like this after this if whatever actions you will be performing it will be capturing each and everything here and you can see that like open website click on this element click on that element products here xpath css selector screenshots screenshot with the highlighted field wherever we have clicked and the name of the screenshot is also here 
you can add a step delete a step you can see the browser information under customization you can have many other features as well you can also record the screen if you want to record the screen like a kind of video recording you can do you can select any particular chrome tab window or entire screen that you can do so this was the like uh, absolutely free version you can also generate these xbox css selector with the attribute filter feature like if you don't want to generate with id or anything that you can do here you can also generate the pseudo code as well like you just turn on and here you can see that pseudo code is generated for converting this particular test case into automation testing you can also pause the recording just by clicking on this button you can resume the recording here this is available for all the browser except safari so you can just install on your browser and use it this was the test case studio here you can find the download link for all the browsers the next tool in our pipeline is testing daily testing daily is very helpful to get the latest testing trends updates jobs update upcoming uh, testing events etc so what you have to do it is available as a browser plugin as well as the mobile app as well so you just have to in, uh, scan this qr code to get it as a mobile app on your uh, phone as well as you can install it on your browser so whenever going forward you will open new tab it will automatically show you show you the latest testing blogs article here and you can quickly read about them if you want or else you want to open a website you can open a website you will see latest videos under here you can see just filtered videos you can see all the blogs you can here you can find all the upcoming testing related events like meetups conferences etc here you can find the latest testing jobs so under job panel you can find it there you can also submit post event job in testing daily and get your things listed here so this is another great tool you can you also like when you have the mobile app on your phone you also get the latest uh, notifications as well about the events jobs and any blog or article or youtube tutorial so that you get it here then we have the uh, auto test data auto test data is another great plugin which helps you guys to generate the fake test data just in simple three steps so you can generate the fake test data whatever kind of data you want to generate like let's say you need phone number email uh, currency or whatever data you need you just you can choose here you can add more data type if you want choose the format in which format you want how many number of rows you want and then click on generate and you will see the data is generated here so this way you can generate the fake test data and it will be very very helpful you can download or copy the data and you can use it then we have a check my links check my links another great plugin which is very very helpful to scan the entire page and get the all the get all links verified on your web page very simple plugin yet super powerful already being used by more than 50000 testers here i have already installed it you can go to any website just quickly uh, just click on this particular plug, uh, logo here of test uh, check my links and it will entire scan the entire page and give you the details of how many invalid links are there valid links are there valid redirect links are there you can quickly export the report view all report you can uh, see all things you can uh, if you want to highlight all the links or not lots of features are there you can change the position of this pop up here and there you can drag and drop as well wherever you want and then you can uh, quickly see that like how many invalid links are there you just click on you will find the reports here like what what are wrong so it's very easy to find out the broken links dead links on the web page on any web page just simply install it and you can use it super powerful to find out the broken links then next thing is page load timer page load timer is again very powerful plugin to help you to test the performance of any web page and we have recently added another great feature in this which will help you to get auto alert whenever the the performance of your page goes down so what you have to do like here you have already installed here click on setting here you enter the domain name like let's say we want to test the flipkart.com and just flipkart.com we want like if any page uh, get loaded or take more than 0.5 second more than half a second if any page takes time then it should show the alert and now if you will go to flipkart.com if this page will take more than 0.5 second you see that this page has taken took more than the max load time of 0.5 second open any page of flipkart.com if that page will take more time then it will show you the alert see like this so this is very very helpful you can whitelist on which website you want to run 
here if it has been like flipkart.com has been mentioned here so it will run on flipkart only not on other website if you want to black uh, like whitelist all the website but just wanted to blacklist some of the website that you can do it here you can also download the report of all the pages view report get clear data lots of things are there lots of other features are there for that we will really recommend you to check out our detailed tutorial here this is also available pretty much for all the browsers you can install and use it very very helpful super powerful to use and help you to uh, measure the load time of your website of all the pages and then you don't miss anything then we also have the pro version of selector sub and test case studio these uh, they have a super powerful features like in selectors of pro you have a features like selectors healing which will help you to verify all the selectors of your script whenever there is a change in ui you don't don't see any ads or interruption you can also you have a more powerful inspector here which will help you to generate the locator page very very 10 times faster as well as xpath access base xpath as well and there are more features like dynamic xpath generation and lot more features are there in pro version of selector sub you also get the uh, report for like uh, complete code pseudo code for the playwright shadow dom and different kind of things as well similarly like in test case studio pro it has a many many features which will help you to customize the test case customize the template of test case then uh, you can resume the recording you can do lot more things like multiple test case recording multiple test case you can download you can download in different format lots of customizations are there you can directly report a bug in uh, you can directly create a bug on jira test rail or azure devops we have integrated you can add column you can delete column you can rearrange the column and many many features are there you can generate the test case in cases in bdd format in different language you have lots of customization in pro version you can also record this skin with audio as well in pro version amazing ui lots of you know, innovative things are there you can add a step you can delete a step you can uh, undo anything you can uh, add here you can copy any test case so many many features are there in test case studio pro version which you can if you want to find out check out the comparison here for selector sub pro and test case studio pro that you can find it here so list of features is really really long for that i will recommend you guys to check out this page here under pro plans so that will help you to learn about all these things with that thank you so much we also have a practice page here which you can uh, where you can practice about automation and learn more about xpath and selectors and about the automation so this will really really helpful because here in this page we have uh, covered a really complex scenarios which will help you to practice about automation and learning more about the basic concepts about automation so this will also help you do check out and all the download links and everything here you can find it on selector sub selector sub is also officially recommended on selenium website also these are highly rated and runs all of all these tools offline on your system so don't worry about their data security or anything with that thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you